Well, hi everyone, it's me Tapatia. I'm Tony. This is the, the video log of the build of this boat. Um, you know, started just over two years ago now. Step by step, week by week, building this, this here. And uh, I say, the record of it. The episode 115, all up there on YouTube, free to viewers, 100% free, along with some sort of writing on my website. So. If you're interested, have a look at that. Let's see what we've been doing this week. Yeah, we've got the, if you remember the last couple of weeks we've been building this, this hatch cover for the Lazarus hatch. So we've got the first ceiling coat on it, a coat of thin epoxy and then one coat of Epiphanes varnish. Um, just to keep it sealed through the rest of this winter so I do a big proper varnishing spree. And it's sat in position, so it's quite nice there for now. Still got to be hinged and have a catch and bits and bobs, but better than you. Looking quite good for now. Quite pleased with the way it's come out. Let's go inside. <laughs> yeah, something we got on with was, was the cupboard fronts here. Um, in both cases, this piece and this piece were wider than the boards I had, so I had to start by gluing two boards edge on. Um, then cutting them to shape, obviously cutting the doors in there, and I've done it in a way that the pieces are cut out, then make the door. So I just made up a simple frame around the, the piece I cut out, hung it on a couple of hinges, got a simple catch there for now. And it all looks like that. Um, those doors are being worked on at the moment, but that's coming on quite well.
I also started thinking about shelving in this area. I should be getting a couple of shelves in there with, with big fiddles on, I think. There's one big fiddle along there for, for bottles of olive oil or whatever um, that you store in a galley area. So that's in and fixed. Something I did want to say is, is that I think an important factor is that all of these worktops, they're glued into the hull. So in each case, I, I, put a, I cut a batten to the angle of the hull. I, I sand off the, the epoxy, glue that batten to the, the hull side. And then for example, the worktops are fitted to that batten. The shelves are same thing, glued into the hull. So we end up with, with a sort of integral structure, the, the monocoque structure I did, makes, makes the, whole, the whole hull extremely strong, extremely stable, so it all functions as one structural girder element. That's very nice. For example, even this, this big old fiddle here is you know, it's glued in and becomes a structural element. You'll remember our side project. Well, that's, we made a bit of progress. Got as far as making up this fairly solid stand for her. So I was just, uh, in my spare time, I was just looking at the measurements to, to mount the engine mounts onto that so we can get the engine up at this height. I'm working on it. But yeah, there's the stand and that's feeling, as I say, solid, stable. Cheap bit of angle iron and some water pipe, but um, yeah. Pleased with that. The next job I'll say is to get the engine mounting irons on there, be somewhere like around there, and then get the engine up and mounted. And we'll start week by week doing a little bit. I think at the end of it, I'll, I'll cut all the pieces of, of the work on this together into one final video as well. So at some stage, I shall publish a video on, on the work we do on this.
Okay, that's it for this week, I think. Thanks for watching. And uh, of course, it's Christmas week, isn't it? So this video will come out, uh, this will be the last video before Christmas. So uh, have a great Christmas or whatever festive event you have in the middle of this winter. And uh, enjoy yourselves. See you next time.